Hello, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make better YouTube end screens inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to need is a template. And the easiest way that I know of that is also free is to just go ahead, pop into YouTube Studio. So we're going to jump into the screen where we actually add to our video an end screen here. We're going to zoom in on it and then we're going to go ahead and move over. I guess we're not moving over. We're going to zoom in till it almost fills the screen up, but you can still definitely see the whole thing. And then go ahead, press alt print screen. If you're on windows, I don't know how to take a screenshot on Mac, but if you're on windows, press alt print screen, and then we're going to go to photop.com we're gonna go edit paste or control V with the crop tool just grab this try to get this as perfect as you can because it will help your end screen elements to be in the correct place once you have that lined up where you've got your crop ready to go go ahead and click on this confirm check mark up here then we are going to go up to file export as We'll just do a JPEG so it's small, quality, 100%. You know we got to have that full quality. And then we're going to hit save. Now we have our image. We're going to drag this image into DaVinci Resolve. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it's in DaVinci Resolve, right here, ready to go. Pop into Fusion. We're going to make a background node. And then we're going to merge that background node into this line right here. I'm going to flip those. And we're going to make this, no, we're going to flip this way. And then we're going to make our background more transparent so we can see through it. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and grab another background node. We're going to also merge this one in. Hold shift, drop it in the line, drop that down on there. And then we, on this background, are going to run it through a transform. I'm going to go ahead and make it smaller and we're going to line it up with one of these but you got to make sure that it is the actual correct size all right so then we're going to take both of these together copy paste drag them over here and we're going to merge those in as well right there and then we're going to grab our transform and we're going to move that down onto that box right there. So now we know that these are the correct size for videos that are going to show up in our end screen. And then for our subscribe icon, we're gonna do the same thing where we make another background node. We're gonna hit that transform on it. Then we're gonna merge that into our node web here. Doot. And we're gonna grab our transform and make this smaller. And then one last thing before we get rid of this media in over here, we're going to make another background node. We're going to merge it in, same as with the other ones. But we're going to merge this one way back here by the media in so that it can be underneath all of these other things that we're working on right now. And we are going to actually transform this one down to the size of that outer barrier that we can see. So we need to use size and aspect. We're going to need to, you can move your cursor in here much slower if you hold control while you're sliding. So just find that outer edge and that is where you're going to be. So we can go ahead and delete our media in now. We have everything we need. We're going to replace that with a background. So now what we can do is we can take any of these, bring the alpha all the way down to make them disappear. We can arrange them on this, and then we know that whatever is back here, whatever this background is right here, this red one, is going to show up. So if we bring our backgrounds down a bit in their alpha here, so we can see through them, we will be able to work on the background behind them. A little bit easier so we grab this background now all of this over here we can move over because we're gonna be making new nodes over here this is our new like permanent background so we're gonna add another one another one for color 
we're going to add a merge. We're going to merge it in, hit this background, and we're going to mask this one out. So we're going to zoom out a little bit up here, and we're going to actually take this and move it to this side. Boom. And then we're going to add a text node on this side. Merge that in as well. Drag our text. Then we're going to write uh, check out this video next. Exclamation point. We're going to turn that tracking down just a bit to make it smaller. And we're going to change our text here probably we'll just use like impact looks nice and thick and then we will go ahead and drag our little sub box over to this side like in the middle ish there and then we'll add another text another merge that says don't forget to sub exclamation point turn that size down a bit don't forget to sub and there you go I mean do whatever you want to do play with your nodes but the most important thing here is to get that template once everything's looking good once you've got your things laid out just drop those alphas down on this side and once you have all of those completely alpha at zero, you'll have something that looks like this. And then you can plant that at the end of your video for up to 20 seconds. And then you know that your end screens will show up exactly how you want them to. So you don't forget to sub. Your little sub picture will be right there. Check out this video next. You'll have a video showing up on this side. And you know that it will all fit well and look good on the YouTube end screens because you built them from one. So... Hopefully that was super helpful. Hopefully you guys go out there and revolutionize the end screen game. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.